Hey guys, I'm Alistair from Trail and Kale, and today I'm reviewing the Adidas Soulstride Ultra. That's these trail running shoes here. Before we get stuck into this review, make sure you give this video a like. I know you haven't even watched it yet, but this guy here absolutely loves it when you like the video, especially during the start of a video. Don't know why, but he's absolutely mad for it. So definitely give a video a like and subscribe to our channel for more running shoe reviews just like this. And be sure to say hello to Kepler in the comments down below. He loves that too. Okay then, the format of this review is, firstly, I'm gonna tell you who these running shoes are for. Then I'm going to go over some of the key statistics of the Soulstride Ultra and then I'm going to give you my performance review. So I'm going to take them on my favourite test route out here in Northern California. If you look here, you'll see I have a lot of climbing, a lot of steep gritty trails covering hard rock, roots, uh, dry leaves, mud as well. It's been raining here recently so I'm going to be testing these shoes on all the terrain that most people will probably want to know about. So throughout that run, I'm going to tell you how they perform on climbs, flat sections, different types of terrain, and even really steep descents. Who are the Adidas Solstroid Ultra trail running shoes for first? Well, they're for anyone who wants kind of like an all-terrain do-it-all trail running shoe that's capable of running long distances, but also shorter distances. Yes, they most certainly perform better over longer distances just because of the responsiveness and the stiffness of the shoe. They're clearly a very durable trail running shoe. That comes with pros and cons, which I'll go over in just a moment. So that's really who they're for. It's gonna be for most people out there, especially those who love how they look and those who love the Adidas brand. I absolutely love how they look. I think I might actually start wearing these as some hiking trail shoes as well, just because they do look nice and minimal, but they've got that cushioning and response and protection uh, that you'd want on a trail hike, also on trail runs like this. Moving on to the key specifications then. They cost $180. Towards the end of this review, I will let you know if they're worth $180. How do they fit and how do they feel then? Well, they're true to size, but there is extra room in there um, especially in the length, but also in the width. So if you do have slightly wider than average feet um, or you're running on the top end of your size, then these will fit you really well. If you are running on the lower end of your size, um, then I would probably recommend going down a half size. That said, it's nice having extra room in a pair of trail running shoes, especially when they're designed that way. That allows your feet to expand when you're running long distances or running in hot weather. How do they feel then? Well, that's an interesting one. I said before they are quite stiff trail running shoes. I've been running in them for probably about half an hour now and I am starting to feel them break in. A lot of trail running shoes nowadays don't need that break in period, but it's nice to know that they do break in pretty quickly and they do start feeling better over time. And then the other thing is really the tongue. This is really, so far, the only thing that I'm not loving about the Solstride Ultra. It's not a huge problem. It's just everything else feels really good and performs very well so far. The tongue is the only thing that stands out to me. And that is how the tongue feels on top of my foot. And that's simply because this section here in the tongue is actually very thin, it's not padded. So I'm feeling these fairly rigid laces on top of my feet. Also, there's not much padding across the tongue in general, except for this rectangular area here, underneath this logo and this loop pull tab type thing. There's this kind of rectangular cushioning pad, and I feel that pushing into my top of my foot as well. A very easy, simple solution would be to put more padding across the whole tongue. The other choice with comfort within the tongue it's the gusseted section inside the shoe. But unfortunately, there are seams on that tongue or the gusseted section. I'll overlay a picture if I haven't already, just so you can see what I mean by that. Other than that though, it feels awesome. Midsole then, it's using Boost Light Foam with Light Strike Foam as well. So it's kind of a hybrid. And you can see here, this gray section here is the Light Strike Foam. It's a different foam to the Light boost foam here. And Adidas are calling that the repetitor foam. So what does that mean? Well, 
It's basically a combination of two foams layered on top of each other, which gives you a nice uh, balance between padding or cushioning and response. So Adidas has obviously been playing with their proprietary foams, layered them together, and realized that you can get the best performance when you do it in this particular manner. And they're calling that the repetitor design. There's also a rocker geometry in the shoe, which gives a nice smooth kind of transition from heel strike to toe off. The outsole then, well, that's using continental rubber. It's really awesome, very sticky, and I'm getting great traction on these already. Time will tell how they compare to Vibram's Mega Grip, which I've talked about many times. Many shoe brands are taking out this um, high performance outsole for their trail running shoes. And for good reason, it's damn good. If you're enjoying this Adidas Solstride Ultra review, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more running shoe reviews just like this one. There is a six millimeter drop from heel to toe. That's 37 millimeters at the heel and 31 at the toe. So pretty high stack height in them. Feels really good so far. I'm loving how it feels on the climb. That's Pretty much most of what I've been doing so far is just climbing and climbing, but I've also had some flat sections. Uh, performs very well on asphalt as well. So if you do have to run to your trailhead or you have tarmac asphalt sections in your trail runs, then I can confirm these feel really good on those sections. And then finally, they weigh 11.3 ounces for a size US men's nine, and that's my size. That's not hugely lightweight by any means, but I feel like what you're getting with that is a very durable shoe. I feel like they're going to last a long time. I'm halfway up my second climb. My God, these trailing shoes are awesome on flat sections. I mean, that boost light foam is just insane. The repetitor, you know, combination of the light strike and the light boost. Midsole foams, it just feels really cool. It feels lightweight, even though the shoe overall isn't usually lightweight. The midsole just feels very responsive, but also really cushioned. That is what I always look for in a trail running shoe because I want to be able to run fast but at the same time I want to be able to run long distances and for that to work I need a cushioned and responsive midsole and the Soul Stride Ultra delivers on that. I really don't have anything but good things to say about the response and cushioning. I will be bringing them back down my route on some very steep gnarly terrain. I'm going to film all that for you so you can see what I put them through. And I'll let you know how they perform, perform on the downhill. But a quick word on how they climb. Awesome as well. One thing they could be improved, or one way, would be for them to be a bit lighter. That would make me more inclined to run in these shoes over longer distances as well. That being said, the Continental outsole is awesome. Traction is brilliant on pretty much everything I put them on. That's slick rocks, loose dirt. So they're performing really well there. And breathability is really good as well, which is what you need on a hot day, or even if you're climbing intensely, you need your feet to be able to breathe. Just a quick note on the fit as I get to the top of my climb. They seem to have worked themselves out around the top of the foot. They feel a lot more comfortable now. Initially it was a concern to me and it was something that was very noticeable, so I had to mention it. But now the shoe seems to have broken in and expanded in the areas where it needs to. I still think that design could be improved by Adidas. Maybe the Soul Side Ultra 2 will fix it. Fingers crossed. Well, it's official. The Adidas Soul Stride Ultra performs really well on the downhills too. I had a suspicion it was going to just because of the stability, the response and the outsole. I mean, that combination leads to control, traction, and speed. Yeah, it performs exactly how I thought it would. A lot of fun on steep downhills. I feel like I've got a lot of confidence in those situations. And like I said before, performs extremely well in flat situations. So if you don't have much climbing or downhill in your trails, 
they'll perform very well for you in that situation too. Like I said before, they're not the lightest trail running shoes. I personally wouldn't take them on a long ultra run. I know they've got ultra in the name and they're perfectly capable of performing over ultra distances. There are lighter trail running shoes out there and I value a light trail running shoe when I'm running ultra marathons. Just because the amount of steps I'm going to take, you know, it's going to be over 50,000 steps easy. Then the lighter the shoe, the better in my opinion, because my muscles are not going to have to work as hard as they would with a shoe that's maybe 15% heavier. Something to think about. That said, they perform really well over 5Ks, um, half marathon distance, just because of all the control you get, you get the response and the cushioning from the midsole as well. Uh, very durable too. The upper is performing very well. Once it got past the uh, comfort issues that I pointed out at the start of this review, kind of flexed out a bit, broke in, and they feel really good now. So I feel a little bit bad for saying it, but it was obvious to me compared to many other trail running shoes that I've reviewed. So I had to say it. And that leads me perfectly onto the section in this review where I share whether these shoes are worth the $180 price tag. Well, yes, they are. They perform in a huge variety of types of terrain and trails. Again, a little bit heavy, so I would really price these at $160. That said, you get a hell of a lot of shoe for $180, a shoe that performs really well on all terrain surfaces, if you're running to a trailhead on asphalt or road sections. Then they've got you covered there. The Continental Grip is great on road. It's also obviously really good on trails as well. I've just tested it on a huge steep downhill with slick rocks and mud sections. Perform really well. Very similar to Vibram's Mega Grip actually. So yeah, really happy with how they perform. And yeah, I would say if you've got $180 and you're looking for a do-it-all pair of trail running shoes, maybe not for ultra distance. And if you like the look of them, then go for it. $180, these could be yours. Well, that's it for me. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this trail run. I really hope you enjoyed this Adidas Soulstride Ultra review. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more running shoe reviews just like this one. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace. Bye.